Hey guys, it's Joe. Welcome back to another video. I've been noticing recently that my uh, reef tank over down here has been getting a bit of algae, uh, a little bit more than it has usually, so I am going to do a nitrate test on it. Normally, I would test nitrates uh, every week. I've been kind of slacking off because school's been crazy, but I do have to make sure that I get this test in this week, especially since I've seen visible signs of a little bit more algae in the tank. So I'm going to test the nitrates just to be sure that everything's okay. And after I do that, if the nitrates are really high, I will do like uh, probably like a two and a half gallon water change, and I'll do that water change uh, multiple times this week. But hopefully that won't it won't result to that, um, and the nitrate levels will be fine. We're coming up on my weekly water change day anyway, so they might be a little bit higher than usual, but let's cross our fingers here and hope that everything is okay. Now, the way you test for nitrates is pretty simple. You need, well, what I'm using is, here it is, it's using the Red Sea Foundation, or not foundation, the Red Sea Algae Control Pro Multi-Test Kit. Um, I don't know why they throw Pro in front of it, just to make it sound better, I guess. Um, but this is what basically everybody uses. It's kind of complicated. It takes about, probably about 10 minutes in total. Um, I highly suggest you pick these up for your reef tank if you don't have them already because, you know, testing for nitrates and phosphates is imperative when you're talking about your reef tank and algae control. All right, so in the test kit, we have two vials here. And now one of them is going to be the control. You've just got plain tank water in it and that remains clear and you compare that to the color chart this is the nitrate color chart and once you add in all of the different uh, reactants and powders and chemicals and stuff that you add into it to test it out it'll turn a certain color and if that color is super dark like that well that is how many parts per million you have in your tank so that's basically how it goes it's more of a color reading um, and it's a much more entailed color reading than say uh, like the freshwater test kit where you know It's just a few drops and then you read it right away. This is much more entailed All right, so the nitrate card here shows you the instructions uh, first you get the 16 milliliters of the tank water I'm actually going to do the diluted test which they show on the back is 15 milliliters of RO water and one milliliter of aquarium water um, and that tests the high range if you have nitrates below four you're fine so there's really no point in doing uh, any low range unless you're trying to get your nitrates up or you're checking your cycle but I just want to make sure they're at four or below you know those those levels are okay once you get that uh, you put the control in the little uh, like reading uh, section there whatever the heck you want to call that add five drops of solution A to the test vial, shake it up for 15 seconds, add one scoop of powder B into the, uh, the test vial, shake that up for 60 seconds, that takes a while to dissolve, add one scoop of powder C into the test vial, shake that for 15 seconds, and then wait on it for nine minutes for the color to uh, react, everything to get to the correct um, reading. And once you wait those nine minutes, uh, you just shake it up a little bit, get the air bubbles out of it, and throw it into the reading device. Now once I read it, I'm going to be reading it, and it's going to show me on the reading device the low range. I'm just going to take the number on the low range and correspond it to the number on the high range side. Hopefully that will be almost clear or just a little bit of pink. Five minutes later. Alright, well we're looking good. Um, really, at this point, I would normally not even put it in the uh, comparison table spinning thing I don't even know what to call it um, but just for the purpose of the video I will and you can see if I aim you down there if you look at the color differences this is the reacted water this is the normal clear water and it's really it's not really reading anything so I'm gonna put that right about on the high range scale. It's gonna be probably less, it's got a little bit of a tint, probably right around uh, four PPM, maybe a little bit less, maybe like three and a half PPM, which is good. Really the only thing um, that's causing the algae is that 
you know that's using up the nitrates that are in the tank and that's why the nitrates are lower um there's nothing really i can do about it except for maybe lowering the nitrates a little bit more keep the cleanup crew going in it um i hadn't scraped the tank like all week too so that's another thing it was just to build up on the glass it's not nearly as bad now that i have scraped the glass but this just goes to show that you know even if your tank is showing you know some visible signs definitely do the cleaning that you need to take it out and always remember to test because you never know when something could be going horribly wrong or when everything is just fine so never take your nitrate levels for granted now this rock right here is probably like the worst uh algae ridden rock that i have in the whole tank but you know that being said it's really not all that bad the rest of the tank is really not all that bad um so if it really got really terrible i mean i've got some little specks right there but if it got if it got really terrible then i would do a water change immediately just to try to bring it down a little bit lower um try to take out any of the nutrients that are breaking down causing the nitrate but it's not really necessary in this case but i do hope you learned something from this video at least you learned how to do a nitrate test with the red sea pro test kit it's super super easy so it really should not be labeled that but anyways guys i do hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please remember to leave a like below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one